In a valiant attempt to restore peace during the Clone Wars, the Jedi Council has sent Jedi Knights into battle against the Separatists. Masa Yoda senses that the Council's power is fading, and with it, their hope of defeating the evil Count Dooku. A desperate message from Tatooine brings word of a new, more sinister threat. Masa Yoda has sent the young Jedi Anakin Skywalker to investigate. With the power of the Force at his command, Anakin must stop Count Dooku from creating a new, more destructive droid army. In the new droid army, exclusively released on Game Boy Advance, Anakin Skywalker is sent to investigate rumors of the Separatists making a new type of droid superior to other droids and invulnerable to lightsabers. Anakin travels to Tatooine, but is hunted down by Aura Singh, a force-sensitive female who left the Jedi Order to take up the life of a bounty hunter. Anakin is eventually held in the captivity of Jabba the Hutt. He breaks out and is called to Coruscant, where he finds out that Dooku plans to destroy the Jedi Archives. The plot of the new droid army is an alternative version of Episode 3, where Anakin defeats Dooku and ends up as a Jedi hero. At the end of the game, Anakin defeats and kills Count Dooku, but this led to a continuity issue when Dooku appeared in Revenge of the Sith. In response, the writer of the game created a retcon in the official Star Wars fact file, saying that Count Dooku in the game was not the real Dooku, but a projection created through the Force. To give players a feel of a unique 3D experience, the game presents itself with an isometric look. There are numerous droids and aliens to fight, which makes for plenty of opportunities to use Anakin's lightsaber to attack or reflect incoming blaster shots. After passing each successive area, new force powers are earned that can aid Anakin later on. The force can be used to dash, jump and push, but also gives the player the ability to heal faster and to remain invisible for extended periods. Just as his stamina decreases when Anakin is attacked, his force power also diminishes after every use. The game doesn't offer any help or force items to collect to increase your power bars. The only way to recover stamina and regain force powers are to either stand still until both indicators are full again, or use the meditation power learned later in the game to recover faster. Many reviews criticize Star Wars The New Droid Army for its vague and tedious missions, while some praise the game's sounds, story and background environments. While the game did a lot of things right, it never received a special status in the long list of Star Wars video games.